Solomon to Barton. Barton looks to drive. Bounce pass. Nicely done to King who flushes it home. And that, you just can't. Interesting matchup there, Jay. I, I don't know if I would have thought of that myself there. You can't get under screens there. Boy, there's a lot of backyard talking here. In the Solomon. His shot no good. Boy, nobody can find the basket yet. Hammond. Three. Nothing but net. And that's on Malik jogging. Prochet against Molson. Prochet gets up and under and finishes. Strong move. Yeah, that was a strong Downs. He looks to drive. Good defense that time. Canisius. Hammond. His three. Nothing but net for Marcus. Strong's now an announcer. <laughs> Dominic Robin, the paint, goes up and puts it home in Niagara. Lee. Hammond dribbles down, gives it up. Rob between the legs. Rob gets inside, stops, goes up on the jump hook and puts it home. Wow. Gives it up. Rob, 15 footer, nothing but net for Dominic Rob. I remember doing a couple Niagara back out. Towns, nice ball fake, and then the bounce pass out. Fergala open from three, nothing but net for the freshman. And there's modern basket, and they can really get high percentage shots, and that's a good example. James Towns gets inside, challenges Hitchin, lays it up, counted. He'll go to the line underneath the basket, keeps his dribble alive. Diagonal pass for Gall, left alone from three, and another make for the freshman. And that's just bad scramble defense. I reference that a lot. You keeps his dribble alive. Dominic Robb looks to go to work down low. Classic hook by Dominic Robb. <laughs> but you know what the key was? Hammond swings it to Robb. Khalif Tate, his three, nothing but net for Khalif Tate. Tompkins. James Towns left alone is three nothing but net can't that can't happen against the zone you know that's 10 for Molson Hammond showing his speed his step back jumper and he knocks it down see Malik's got a tough he's not this badly there hitch has got to find that stroke again for the Grizz to be uh, more effective on the offensive end Hammond another three nothing but net Reggie Witherspoon Hammond out to Perche white on him Roche gives up his dribble. King goes to work down low. Double team comes down. He goes up with the left hand. Off glass and good. When it's your net for Canisius. Instead, it's a block shot for Niagara, and the Purple Eagles come back. Barton lays it up and in. See, that's fundamental basketball. Sengs got a record. Roche gets it inside, knocked away by Hitchin. Barton in the paint, goes up over Molson, and puts it home. They just got some athletes. It's a good move, but he's got to understand there's going to be help. Kick out to Hammond, another three, and another make for Marcus Hammond, who comes up. Prochet gets past Faulkner to the basket, no good, but he is there with his own tip in. And then, see, again, Faulkner has got it. Barton in transition, swings it to Towns. Towns the Rob on the baseline, his jump shot, nothing but net. Yeah, they're open. Hammond has it. Freshman against freshman over there against Henderson. Kwakamensa takes the three, and of course it goes in. It's been that <laughs> kind of night. Obviously, but they got lots of good options. Oh, Towns, nice move. The kick to the corner. Hammond, another three. And another make for the Purple Eagles. I just really like Towns. Because Jonathan Sanks, the grips down by 10. Towns gets inside and finishes. He is lightning against Molson. Crochet backs inside. Looks to go up and under and puts it home. Marvin Prochet, the senior. Here on the postgame show with Niagara coach uh, Chris Casey. Uh, coach, uh, let's just talk about that final finish there. You call the timeout. Talk about the play you wanted to set up, what you wanted to run, and obviously Dominic Robb executing. Yeah, uh, he made a tough shot. He made two big free throws. Uh, we wanted to keep the ball in the three best players' hands. That's James, Marvin, and Dom, and that's what we did. Uh, we had a couple options off it, and uh, Dom made a big shot. You know, coach, obviously, Last couple of weeks haven't been really good for your team. It's a, a bit of an understatement. How did you go about getting your team ready to play in this game? And, and really, they, they played a heck of a game tonight. Uh, our team is always ready to play. And uh, we have struggled on the last five or six. And uh, But, you know, credit to our guys. They keep at it. Um, and we always say, hey, all you need is one maybe to get yourself going. And hopefully this will be the one. You know, Coach, anything can happen in college basketball. And it kind of almost did there at the end for your team. It looked like you were in total control down the stretch. I mean, how do you as a coach kind of have yourself ready for those moments in a game where it looks like it's all falling apart for you? Yeah, I don't think anybody felt it was falling apart. I think we needed to step up and make free throws and, and hold them off more. You know, uh, we missed a couple when it was like a seven, eight point game. Uh, you got to make those, you know, and keep it a six, seven, eight point game and make them really catch you. Um, and we didn't do that. And, um, you know, we needed to get the ball in bounds. 
uh, against pressure, and you know we're usually pretty good with that. And we didn't do that. So, and credit to them, you know they got physical with us, and you know that's been a little bit of Achilles' heel with us. Uh, teams that get physical, we got to do a better job of responding to that. Two and zero against Canisius this year. That feels pretty good, huh? Yeah, they all feel good. You know, I mean, uh, this is a really good team and a well-coached team. So, you know, anytime you can come in here in this tough atmosphere and win, that's a credit to our guys. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Jack. We did a very good job of sticking to the plan of what we wanted to do when we came in here. Um, I thought uh, we executed very well offensively. Uh, that was a terrific job at the end of the game off that timeout with, with uh, you know, what we tried to do, and Don made a big shot and then followed up with two big free throws. Uh, credit to them, we knew they were going to come at us at the end of the game, and uh, we need to respond better in the last three or four minutes of that game by making free throws and, you know, being a little smarter with the ball. Um, but we did a good job of getting a lead, keeping a lead, and having enough of a cushion where we could hold them off at the end. Coach, what does it say about your team's composure that even <laughs> after – uh, losing the lead, you guys were able to stay composed and, and find the play to finish off the game. Yeah, well, we you know we work on that in practice. We we play one possession games and you know we do a lot with the clock and the shot clock and you know all these games come down to the end and and uh, we've been on the short end a couple times, but we responded well today and I thought we were composed. Um, I would have liked us like I said, seen us to be a little bit better in those last four minutes with making free throws and you know taking a couple uh, better shots, better possessions. Uh, and get open against pressure, um, you know. But I thought overall we did a pretty good job of that. What does this mean for Dom to not only score the final four points for you guys in the game winner, to also have that block at the very end to get the score right here? Yeah, well, that I mean, the block was important. You know, um, there we were up four at the time, so even if we made the three, I don't know. You know, we tried to stay away from him, but I'm never going to tell Dom not to block a shot. You know, he's pretty good at it. So. Um, you know, and, and, and Dom's had a good week. I mean, Dom, you know, broke a thousand points for his career, had a big game today, uh, broke his block shots record, um, and, and made a big shot today to, you know, get us a lead and made big free throws to keep the lead. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him his senior year that he could come here and, and get a win. Dom, did you know you needed that block at the end? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to try it, so it ended up working. You check out his like shorts, it. he's got them all on his shorts. <laughs> 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 What's, I mean, you guys have had a lot of success against Canisius the past couple of years, or enough success against Canisius over the past couple of years. Um, what's, I guess, what's, what's behind it? Uh, we made one more play than they did tonight, you know. Um, I thought we stuck to the plan, like I said. I think one thing we've done a good job with against them is playing from in front, which is something we talk about all the time. You've got to play from in front and make other teams catch it. Um, you know, we're, we're usually a pretty good free throw shooting team. You know, I don't know what we'll lose tonight, 21 or 27. Uh, for 77%, that's not bad, you know. Um, so if you can play from in front and they got a foul you to catch up, you know, we usually do a pretty good job with that. Dom, I know you obviously wanted to break the record, only needed one coming into tonight, but to be able to do that in the manner in which you did at the very end of the game, in a tightly contested run on the road against Canisius, what does it mean to come out of here with that victory and the record? Uh, I mean, it felt great for me. I, I love playing Canisius. Over my four years, I try to have the best game I can every time we play them, and it felt great to me, and I did know it, and I loved taking the last shot. I felt my team had confidence in me. Even Marvin told me after timeout, he was like, we're throwing it to you, just go for it, and it ended up working out, and it's, it's big. I feel like it's a good way to get these last few games of my career having playing as best as I can. Are you feeling it a bit offensively? I mean, I know you, you, you talked a little bit about stepping away from the basket a little, but if you're, you know, you're crossing over out there, you're, you're dribbling and driving, are you feeling it offensively right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling more confident, and that's also with my coaching team. They, they trust in me. They know I can do more than maybe just set a screen or get a rebound or just score on the block. They know I have more in my game, and I've been working on it the whole entire year, and I think it's finally starting to come together for me. It's probably the perfect time going into the tournament here, so. If I can just keep it doing, I'm going to keep practicing everything I can practice, whether that's dribbling, shooting, hook shots, anything. So it's been really good for me, and I hope to just keep it up. Don, when you scored those eight quick points in the first half, do you think it kind of built your confidence for the rest of the night? I think it definitely did. It was. It's When you come off the bench real quick, it's you kind of have to just be ready. Coach always says when you push your button, you make sure you're ready to go. And 
I feel like it's sometimes hard, but I think it felt good for me right coming off. I scored, and after that, it's just it, I kind of just get used to it, and it just kept rolling, and it, we needed those points at that time, so I felt like I could contribute immediately, and it felt good to do that. How comfortable are you? For, are you comfortable coming off the bench? You've had some success in that role all over the years. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good with any role coach puts me in. I feel like I can, whether it's bench, starting, playing a little, playing a lot, I feel like I, any role for the team that I can do that I can accomplish, I don't think anything's better or worse for me. I think it's just, I need to just play how I have been playing, playing aggressive, looking to attack every time, and playing time, I mean, doesn't really matter. It's just, as long as I'm in a aggressive attack mode the whole time, that's all I want to do. Is so, it easier to avoid fouls, not playing at the start of the half? Um, I think it is because a lot of teams do post at the first like first two possessions of the game. They love to do that and try to get you a quick foul. So I think teams do sometimes talk about that with me. But over the year, I mean, I haven't really fouled a ton. I've only been in foul trouble maybe two or three games this year. So I think just this year I've been doing a lot better staying safe away from fouls. Coach, you've got a senior here who's rightfully getting asked a bunch of questions, but this one doesn't happen without. Well, I have in my head here right now, if nobody asks him one, I'm going to say, you got to ask my man Queens of Keston here. He had 18 points, five or six from three, yeah. seven rebounds, and two assists, no turnovers. So right. somebody's got to have a question. <laughs> <laughs> to come out as a team shooting as high as you guys did from beyond the arc in the first half, would it need to establish that early lead going to halftime with a double digit advantage? Yeah, I think we've been a pretty good three point shooting team the entire year, you know? Um, and, you know, we want to take them when they're open. You know, any chance we get, you know, transition threes in a half court, you know, spread the floor out. Uh, we have a couple pretty good post players, which spreads the floor some. Um, you know, James can drive the ball well, which spreads the floor some. So any chance we get to do that, we want to take threes. And, you know, Marcus hit some big ones today, particularly in the start of that second half. You know, he really helped us maybe stretch it even a little bit more and keep that cushion. Marcus, you're closer to 60% from three this year than not, at least during uh, conference games. How uh, do you ever, like, Imagine you'd be able to do this as a freshman, uh, coming in and have this kind of success right away. Uh, not really, but my team and coach got a lot of confidence in me. Keep telling me to shoot the ball and just open to take the shot. And Coach Casey today said, make plays. So he gave everybody confidence. He came out there ready to play, so it helped. Marcus, what were you feeling out there today? I mean, you recently were put in the starting lineup and uh, getting more minutes and now showing on the, on the court, uh, I believe hit four from uh, deep today. What were you feeling out there uh, tonight? Uh, I was getting some good looks, so I just had to knock them down. I, I missed my first one, but I told myself keep shooting, and if I get another open one, I'm going to knock it down. Marcus, what did you learn from this game tonight? I mean, you nearly lost a double-digit lead, I mean, you guys did. It was tied, but still managed to put it out. You know, every game of my freshman year, I'm learning a lot, you know, getting a lot of experience, so that's good for, like, next year and upcoming years. But this atmosphere and playing Canisius, you know, it's teaching me a lot. Late game situation, everything. I'm just learning a lot, experience and stuff. Don, what do you think about the way he's been shooting the ball? I mean, I think it's helping me a ton. It's I mean, when you can open the floor, when a lot of teams try to double and stuff and bring a lot of help, pack the paint on us. I feel like when Marcus is out there, it's it's a big threat for them, and they have to respect it, and it helps me a ton. I mean, I don't score a lot of points without my teammates being out there forcing help the other way, so it helps me a lot. Marcus, what is a game like this, you know, rival game, on the road towards the end of the season. What does it do for you for the rest of the season? You know, moving on in your career. You know, uh, today it was a big win for us because we just want to get one win at a time going in the tournament. And I think we can make a big run at it. So starting today, for the rest of the season, we're gonna we're gonna keep going harder every day in practice, and we're gonna start a big thing. Start today. Dom, coming in. Should, how many blocks did Crochet tell you he wanted from you tonight? <laughs> He always tells me three or four. I tell him that's not always possible, but it worked out for me tonight. So he's he's been my biggest fan this whole entire year. So he's been keeping me going.